There are several different classes of medication used to treat ADHD. This lesson will focus on developing an understanding of these medications and their mechanisms of action. In this first video, I'll be introducing the stimulant medications. In the second, the non-stimulant medications, and then I'll be discussing their mechanisms of action. ADHD medications fall into two general categories, stimulants and non-stimulants. The difference between the two classes is based on their mechanism of action, with the stimulants having an effect on dopamine and noradrenaline transporters, while the non-stimulants do not interact with the dopamine transporters and therefore don't have an effect in the nucleus accumbens, the so-called pleasure center for the brain. And it's the effect of stimulants on dopamine in the nucleus accumbens that's related to their abuse potential. Therefore, another way to distinguish the stimulants from the non-stimulants is that the non-stimulants have a much lower and probably negligible abuse potential. Now, the stimulants are the most prescribed medications for ADHD and are recommended as the first line medication treatments across all evidence-based ADHD guidelines. There are two basic classes of stimulants, methylphenidate and the amphetamines. Methylphenidate is the most prescribed ADHD medication worldwide. It's not a new medication. In fact, it was first made in 1944 and first marketed as Ritalin in 1954. The original methylphenidate preparations were what we call immediate release with a short duration of action of around four hours. More recently, several longer acting preparations have been licensed and marketed with an extended duration of action between eight and 12 hours. The different long acting preparations are different not only by their duration of action, but also in the balance between immediate and extended release methylphenidate that they contain. These differences are important to understanding and using the different formulations, but also are unfortunately often the cause of some confusion among clinicians and patients. A confusion that can result in some patients receiving inadequate treatment. For example, Oros methylphenidate with a duration of action of around 12 hours has an immediate release proportion of 22%. That means that an 18 milligram tablet contains around four milligrams of immediate release methylphenidate. Now, there are several eight hour methylphenidate preparations available. One common preparation has a 30% immediate release proportion which means that a 20 milligram capsule contains six milligrams of immediate release, while another has 50% as immediate release, which translates to 10 milligrams immediate release for a 20 milligram capsule. That means that for a similar daily dose of each of these preparations, the patient actually receives very different immediate release doses and a different pharmacokinetic profile across the day. Why is this important? Well, it's important because there's a very close relationship between the pharmacokinetic profile and the pharmacodynamic or treatment response profile. It's therefore essential that clinicians using these medications fully understand these differences and work with them when switching between different preparations of methylphenidate. Now the next group are the amphetamines, the other stimulant medications. 
The amphetamines are actually very similar to methylphenidate in many ways. But importantly, while some people respond equally well to either methylphenidate or the amphetamines, some show a preference for one over the other. The amphetamines are actually the most prescribed medications for ADHD in the USA, where there are several different preparations available. And these include mixed amphetamine salts, dexamphetamine, and listexamphetamine, which is actually a, a dexamphetamine prodrug. While dexamphetamine and listexamphetamine are available in several countries outside of the USA, mixed amphetamine salts like Adderall are only available in the USA. In most countries, dexamphetamine is only available as an immediate release preparation with a duration of effect of around four to five hours for each dose. In the USA, both immediate release and long-acting versions of mixed amphetamine salts are available. Listex amphetamine, which is a prodrug, once absorbed into the bloodstream, is hydrolyzed, releasing dexamphetamine. As a result of this process, the duration of action is increased up to 12 to 13 hours. Unfortunately, due to the mechanism of conversion of listex amphetamine into dexamphetamine, it's not actually possible for us to calculate an accurate dose conversion between one and the other in the same way that we can do for the methylphenidate preparations. This means that it's necessary to retitrate patients who are being shifted from one to the other. Now, let's move on to the next video where I'll be discussing the non-stimulant medications and the use of unlicensed medications in ADHD. Music